Today's must-see incredible hidden treasure is located in northeast Alabama in Jackson County. Stevens Gap is an amazing and unreal experience. Let's explore this trail today. So this trail is located on private property and you need a permit in order to be on this trail, which I will tell you how to get later on in this video. So just in the last five years, this cave that we're going to has climbed four lives, which the last one was in 2019. Now how dangerous is this well-known cave in Alabama? Let's go find out. The best times to hike are spring and winter. The length of the trail is approximately 1.4 miles round trip, which is fairly short and makes me wonder if it's even worth it. Even though this is uh, open to the public with a permit, it still remains in a very natural and wild state. After rain, it could be very slippery with all these rocks. The trail is fairly visible. But just in case you need assistance, they have placed yellow trail markers on the trees. The trail primarily follows a dried up creek bed and goes in a steady incline. The total elevation is about 239.5 feet. Let's go to Stevens Gap Cave, he says. Uh-huh. It'll be fine, he says. It is. Yeah, okay. <sighs> It's going to be worth it. All right, the cave has two entrances. One vertical that you can rappel down, which I'm not going to even get close. Now when you get close to the vertical entrance where you can rappel down, if you get there too close and you slip, you're going to be falling about 12 stories. The second entrance is right here, left from the vertical. That's about 20 to 30 feet high to get in. A lot of boulders, um, and that's the one I'm going to be taking in. The larger side shaft, with an opening approximately 30 feet wide, provides enough light inside the cave. Make sure you wear good hiking shoes, because climbing down the steep 200 feet embankment over large boulders can be slippery, especially after the rain. We found trekking poles to also be very useful. The waterfall comes down the far side of the vertical shaft and echoes through the cave. You can rappel to the beautiful cave floor from the top entrance, if you choose to do so. You must bring your own gear, including a helmet, ropes, and anything else you may need. A helmet is required for everything walking, climbing, and any rope-related activities. There are only three rig points for rope allowed at the top of the pit. If you choose to rappel, make sure you select the vertical caving permit option when getting your permit. Make sure you bring the right equipment and have experience. There are a lot of potential hazards that may occur. To be honest, I have not explored many caves, but Stevens Gap Cave is absolutely jaw-dropping. My first trip to Stevens Gap Cave was amazing and completely worth the hike and two plus hours. Remember, you must have a permit. The free permit is easily obtained online. The link is below in the description. After your permit is approved, make sure you read your permit. It's a lot of valuable information on it including your gate coat to get into the property, which is private, and other helpful tips. Only 15 permits are allowed per day, a minimum group size of two. Stevens Gap is a no drone fly zone and, and cell service is pretty much next to none. I recommend Stevens Gap to most hikers. It's, it's a fun trip, it's a short hike, and the payoff, it's amazing. 
In the last 17 years, there's a lot of fatalities in that cave. Use common sense, know your limits, and don't be stupid because the payoff is amazing. I hope this video helped you a little bit. Prepare your trip to Stevens Gap Cave. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you've been to Stevens Gap before. Comment your experience. Until next time.